Hello, my name is Daniel Breck. In this demo, I'm going to provide a brief look at the GlassFish Administration Console. The console was created to manage the GlassFish Web Application Server, and it's based on Java server faces and Project Woodstock components. As I run through the demo, I'll highlight some of the Project Woodstock components such as Common Tasks, Table, Tabs, Tree, and Breadcrumbs. In the right panel, Woodstock Common Task Components provide shortcuts for Common Administration Console tasks. For this example, I'll select Configure Monitoring to enable that service. In this page, I can enable HTTP, Web Container, and JVM Monitoring. In the Web Applications page, the Woodstock Table component displays a list of web application modules. Each module typically consists of a collection of web resources such as JSPs, servlets, and HTML pages packaged in a WAR file. The modules shown here are Sun Cloud portlets deployed in the LifeRay CMS portal. This page allows me to enable, disable, or deploy any web application. For example, if I select the storage portlet, action buttons at the top of the table become enabled. There are also more embedded actions available in the rightmost column, which would allow me to launch or redeploy any one of these applications. And if I click on the storage portlet link, I'm presented with its web application properties. I can also navigate to any web application module directly using the tree in the left hand pane. In the application server page, the Woodstock tab component allows users to navigate multiple pages. If I want to view JVM settings, for example, I'll be presented with a set of nested tabs. I can dive down even deeper by clicking on the JVM options tab. Finally, if I navigate to a JDBC connection pool. I can then use the Woodstock breadcrumb component to navigate back to the previous page. And this concludes my demo of the Glassfish Administration Console. Thank you.